Ho! Oh, what is up, you guys? My name is Bill's Version One, and welcome yet, welcome back yet again to a new year of new reaction time videos for you guys in 2024. And I figured I'd start this off with a furry memes compilation number 41 from Barley the Cat. Again, saw this just going through my channel or going through the recommended feed and stuff like that, and figured, why the hell not? Let's go ahead and give it a shit. I know not all these probably going to make the cut because it is a 25 minute long video, so I know not all of them are going to make it. But I figured, why the hell not? So, without further ado. There we go. Sad news. Zabivaka got drafted and is currently fighting on the front lines. Aw, who's gonna play with his balls now? First time what? topless at the beach. I almost can't believe it. I'm about to have a panic attack, but fuck, this feels so good. You look awesome, and you are doing great. You look fantastic. Keep that confidence up. We only have wholesome memes here on the <laughs> Barley the Cat channel, despite what my thumbnails might tell you. <laughs> Oh my god! He's drowning! Somebody save him! Uh, yeah, as a cat, I do agree with this post. Can I ask about the menu, please? The men I please are none of your business. Wait. Oh, menu, <laughs> please. I get it. <laughs> okay, I didn't get that at first. Horny. Huh? Oof. Anti horny. Oh, good. You're finally awake. Humans? Fursuits. What are you talking about? Let's go cuddle. I think I speak for most of the furry community when I say that this will be a dream come true. Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. What he just said there, that is, yes, exactly. You wake, I wake up and I see a muzzle, I'm gonna be ecstatic. Let's go cuddle. I think I speak for most of the furry community when I say that this will be a dream come true. Uh, oh look, a third. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this really gives a whole new meaning to the phrase, put, put that, that thing, thing back where it came, came from, from, or so, so help, help me. me. <laughs> yes! Give me the transformation ray! Hell yeah! Hey, Misty, you looking good as a Vaporeon, by the way. <laughs> And that's how you silence the majority of the furry fandom. Hey. Just because it's right doesn't mean you should do it. Who's a good boy? Me, me. Good boy. Take out this trash for me. I hate when she does that. We have thin mints and thick mints. Anime nerds are so weak. Poultry ass anime thighs. If they saw what furries consider thick, they would have a fucking seizure. <laughs> That is fucking true. <laughs> Got some thigh highs. You sure I are... just saw this one. I just saw this on TikTok. Or, well, not TikTok. Uh, X. Twitter earlier today. Knee high socks. No, they are not. This is just the downside of being a main dwarf. Upside is you can reach the tallest shelf. Yes, they are tall boys and girls. Main wolves are fucking huge. And the fact that they are the color scheme they are. Throws me the fuck off. First time I ever saw a maned wolf, I thought it was a big ass red fox, but it's not. It's a freaking maned wolf. Their color scheme is just slightly a little different than red foxes. But it's so damn close that someone who doesn't know the difference between a red fox and a maned wolf will think it's a giant red fox instead of a maned wolf. And then, of course, I see a lot of stuff on TikTok and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, I didn't get the, you know, the new creature update or something like that just dropped or whatever. And basically saying, like, what is with these giant animals? It's just a damn maned wolf, people. Come on. Sorry. I don't know if I could keep that one in even if I really wanted to because I guarantee YouTube's going to copyright that as 18 plus because of how suggestive that was <laughs> youtube algorithm and people watching the videos if you anybody actually watches them before they you know whatever watch the whole thing before you flag it <laughs> idiot who needs customer assistance to buy a game but is too awkward to ask for help please notice me <laughs> unless you're just irritated I don't like how Walmart is doing things now, and I don't know how this cut away to me in a Walmart story. Getting these headphones, the Walmart, and stuff like that. Used to have all the headphones out, but we had those weird little, you know, rope thingies that looked like a little thing in the center and had like, you know, strings around that tied it all up and it was anti-theft protector. They used to have that stuff where you can get it off, actually look at the 
the the box and get look at it and make sure you get the right one. Like I wanted to get headphones that were similar to the ones I originally had that plugged in and then plugged in. But then I realized at the same time that the PS5 controller looks a little bit differently than the PS4 controller. So even if I did get that, it wouldn't work because it doesn't have the same port. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to go about recording PS5 stuff with my brother if we choose to do stuff together on the PS5 because... Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But still, like, these do fit better than the other ones do. But at the same time, for some reason, the my bottom of my earlobe still sticks to the bottom of it, and that's as low as I can set them. But either way, they're still series. They sound really good. They fit really good. They feel really fucking good, and I love them to bits. But what pisses me off is the fact that they have all of the damn phone charger cords. Most of the good games. I mean, that makes sense. It's, they've always said, they have them all behind locked glass, where you have to find an associate to unlock the damn thing to get your freaking item. I hate it so much. It's so annoying, and it's so annoying. I literally went up there because of my phone charger that I use to put in my bag to take to work. So if my phone starts dying while I'm at work, I can plug my phone in. Um, <laughs> it it literally was falling apart. The end, the end of it was all busted off, and you know wires were showing, and it wouldn't charge my phone at all. So I went and bought a new. I went to go buy a new cord. I had to wait in line from like three people to get someone with a key to unlock it just to get a phone charger that wasn't even ten dollars. It was like eight bucks. And they have it behind locked glass where you have to get an associate with a freaking key to go over there and unlock the case. How is that? What? Just what? <laughs> That's so stupid. It's so dumb. I like to say the video games, the computers, the, you know, the game consoles, the big speakers, the ex most expensive stuff I could see. Yeah, put that behind glass. But... Stuff where you guys had it just fine. You had it just fine. Why change it? It's not broken. Please confirm you are not a robot. <laughs> I've seen this meme so many times. Ha 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 ha, do you guys get the joke? Is <laughs> yes, it's a protogen, I get it. It's because they're a protogen and protogens are traditionally robots. When your friend leaves stuff behind and you have to ship it back. Oh, Oh god, no. <laughs> oh no. Enjoy your package, Uwu. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this little guy in your timelines. I mean, I don't know how you couldn't have. He was the highlight of AC this weekend. He's infested my timeline. I'm sure he's infested your timeline as well. And really honestly, has. this is probably the most wholesome thing <laughs> that came out of AC. Big boyfriend perks. Hmm, I don't think that's 12 inches. Looks pretty small. Don't worry, babe. I'll check. <laughs> Hashtag. E God damn it. Yeah. Presented by Walmart. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> All furries at Anthrocon be like, look at this fucking puppet. See, I told you it was everywhere. I love him. <laughs> um, um, uh, Vaporeon, I, I think, uh... <laughs> uh, but my head's upside down! <laughs> I think you're a little drunk. I think you need to, I think you need to go home. Literally only furries who are active on Twitter over the weekend will understand this meme. Disney started the Fox stereotype. Yes, yes they did. <sighs> Robin. Oh, Robin. Oh, oh my god. Visualizing in the mirror the man I want to become. Don't fall for the brands. Don't fall for them. They're just trying to get- Voice mod! <laughs> I think I've seen that meme that on Twitter on Twitter. Yeah, you to use their products. Don't. And I can't even relate to the meme because I'm a cat in real life. Bro, you Hey, I use voice mod. Damn it. It's actually decent to a certain extent. Yeah, it the servers are act screwy sometimes. Yeah, for some reason my stream deck doesn't connect to it properly. I push the button, but it doesn't turn on the hear my voice thing. Sometimes shit don't work. But that's just how life works. <laughs> You're using the furry skin? That's kind of gay, bro. That's because I am. <laughs> you live in Texas and it's a thousand degrees out. This is me if I ever lived in Texas. 
That's fucking about right, actually. <laughs> you know, no girl is gonna like you if you dress like that. OMG, promise. So, uh, you have a girlfriend, wife? I'm gay. You don't look gay. <laughs> exactly. 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 Nine times out of ten, I just have to tell someone if they say, hey, you're in the furry community or something like that. I say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a red fox. And they're like, oh, so you're gay. I'm like, no, I'm not. Who fucking started that fucking stereotype? No, I'm not gay. I'm just a fox, man. I'm sly. I'm cunning. I'm slick. Ugh. Very fucking smart. <laughs> <laughs> and for that, I sentence you to death. <gasps> by turning you into a ferret. Wait, how's that gonna kill me? A female one. Oh, fuck. Also in heat. Take her out of my sight. Female ferrets go into heat on their first spring, and if mating does not occur, the females will succumb to aplastic anemia and die a most painful death. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Ah, help, I can't swim. Neither can we. <laughs> They're both fire types. <laughs> I just got it. They're both fucking fire types. That makes sense. Setting my PFP on my socials to my fursona. Are you afraid now? This is the MF who defeated some of the greatest players. Ha, huh. I have 11 years of fighting game experience and I would beat MF breaks off your ass, teabag your goofy ass and send it to the low tier god. You ain't shit. <laughs> you can clearly tell I had no idea what I was reading, but Sonic Fox responded with, money, watch me and MK11. If I lose, I'll give money you 10,000, I'm assuming dollars. And if yeah, I care. win, you have to become a furry. I love Sonic Fox. <laughs> I've actually heard mixed things about Sonic Fox. Yeah, I hear he's a really, really badass gamer, and he does some of the game stuff and with his fursuit head on, which is insanity. But at the same time, I've heard from other people who have gone to gaming things with him, and he's kind of an, kind of a douche. I don't know. I haven't met him in person, so I can't exactly say whether he's cool or not. But he looks pretty cool. His his Twitter is pretty neat and stuff like that. So I don't know. It's just a mixed things. I don't know. If I make this in, you have to kiss me. <laughs> Uh, Jay, where is all this money coming from? Uh, drugs? <laughs> when I woke up in the morning, I turned into a furry. Finally! Ask literally any furry. This is their dream. Holy shit, what happened? The shoe factory caught on fire. So many souls lost. I've seen that one too. God damn it, so many ship. Ship goes blap. <laughs> Good luck. Your ass were dirt. Wait, was that? Wait, wait, was that? Was that? Did somebody do a whiskey meme? So many souls lost. And that whiskey. Good luck. Your ass reduction. Good luck. Reduction. Your ass reduction surgery was a success. Where's whiskey? Who do you think took your ass? Oh. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that was a whiskey meme. God damn. Sounds gay as hell. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> when I follow a non-furry safer work artist and they follow me back. Thanks, but re reconsider. Select your spirit chunk. Oh, oh, big chunk is here. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Give me the big chunky. <laughs> oh my god, I love them all so much. I feel bad for the maintenance dude that had to go in my room. Oh, I mean, it, it honestly doesn't look- oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Awkward. Oh. What? Whoa, dear God, that was even worse than I thought it was going to be. Can I explain where you've been all this time? Imagine if your Minecraft dog turned into a werewolf overnight. Would you abandon him then? Would you? Da -da 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 -do. Don't mind me, I'm just working on this not safe for work commission. Nice porn art. Guess you're good at it. Thanks, Mom. Wait, how good is that? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Damn, I'm so hot, I need a drink. Mm hmm, mm hmm. No, 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 Izzy! Izzy, wait! Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> There are these sounds. Still pretty hot though. Okay, well, fuck. I don't know how many of those I actually added, but that was amazing. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. You guys want to go check out, uh, what was his name again? For, uh, Barley the Cat. 
<laughs> Feel free to do I'm subscribing right now. Oh, dear God, those are some good ones. A lot of those were repeat offenders, so I don't know if I included some of those, but at the same time, I know I included some of them if they made me laugh. Uh, I don't know how YouTube's gonna alg the algorithm's gonna enjoy this video or not, but that's gonna do it for this episode. If you guys got anything else you wanna see me react to, feel free to put it in the comments down below. I probably won't get to it this month because I'm trying to bulk record as much as possible before the four before and maybe on the first. Hopefully this video will actually make or the first video made it up on the first because it's like I have to start in context, what's going on? I think my internet is just acting all screwy. I think I have to reset my router again for the umpteenth fucking time. I just hate doing that. But that's going to do it for this episode, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, I can figure out what bugs are going on to where I can get stuff uploaded properly and on time. That being said, though, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And peace. What's up?